Pamela Kuja, a coordinator in Entrepreneurship Development Center, Federal Polytechnic Lab. Uh, you are welcome to our uh, soap making uh, vocation. Here with me, you have uh, Mrs. Uh, Lovet Musa uh, and Mrs. Sumink Obishaki. They are the facilitators in the center and they are going to take you through the production of laundry soap, jammy side, and uh, liquid soap. So, happy day. My name is Mrs. Musa Clara. I'm here to take you for laundry soap and germicide. This is the material for germicide and this is the material for laundry soap. Here I have the uh, tools. I have a mixing bucket and stirrer. And I have wood. That is all. Then I have the chemical. The first chemical is PQ which is palm carne oil. Then the second one is caustic soda. The third one is uh, arc soda, fermented with the sodium suffix. And here I have a silicate. The last one is perfume. What I have here is a perfume. Number one, uh, the PQO is the base of laundry soap. Why the caustic soda is to remove a uh, dents like grease, oil, and so on, and so on. Then we have a cause, I mean, ash soda. It removes, it's a foaming agent, rather, and the uh, uh, sodium sulfate. Then the silicate, it's a, a glossy agent. It makes the soap look smooth and polished, which the last one is the perfume. It gives fragrance. Then let me now go for the production. I have a four liters of PKO with me here. You turn it into the mixing bucket. As you're turning it, please be careful with it. Yes, that is four liters. That is four liters of PQ. You stir it. You stir. Then after stirring, we have a, a cups that we call liters. This is one liter. Hmm? So in this, we have a ratio two, one and a half. If you're producing more than this, that is when you can ratio it. If you're producing eight liters of PKO, that means you're dealing with ratio four to one. Here we are dealing with ratio four, I mean ratio two, one and a half. So please, this is the dissolve, uh, what is it called? Caustic soda and the ash soda, you dissolve it, you ferment it, rather. And when you ferment, you ferment for about two days, which is 48 hours. Then after the two days, you drop the hydrometer to reach the chemical. This is the hydrometer. You drop in the hydrometer, it will read 1.275. It has been calibrated. You can see it. The calibrated number is there. You drop it into the solution. It will read 1.275. That is when you can make use of it. But when it is below 1.275, that means you're still going to add water. And when it is above 1.275, you add chemical. So now, this is uh, 1.275. I will measure one liter. You know I told you we have a four liter here. And we are using two liters for the caustic soda. Sorry, please let me get it. Please. You get a separate bowl. Then you measure your one liter there. Then you measure the second one. 
to make it two liters. That is it. You keep this one aside, the remaining one. Then you go into your half soda, fermented with sodium sulfate. Don't forget. One liter as well. After measuring it, you put this other one aside too. And you take the two solution and add it into the four liters of PQ. The two should go at the same time. And then you stir. You can stir clockwise and anti-clockwise. As you're stirring, you can see it's becoming thicker. Please don't call it purple. You stir clockwise, don't forget, and anti-clockwise. You can see it's becoming thicker. Please, when you're mixing, you stir gently and careful. You stir for about three minutes. Then after that, you add in your perfume. This is your perfume. We have table, I mean we have teaspoon here. You add two teaspoon. Please remember to cover. Then you stay it. the perfume you add in your don't forget I told you there is silicate and the silicate is a glossy agent it makes the soap look smooth and polished you add in two teaspoons as well remember to cover so you stay again very well so that the two chemicals can be mixed together please don't forget you need your hand glove this is your hand glove is for the safety precaution. And after turning for about five minutes, I've told you we have our mood here and the line on lay inside the mood. Then you turn in your proportion of the soap. It's done already. So you point in, you point in the proportion. You leave for five to six hours for it to solidify. So after that, if you want to scrub the many work, you need to put on your hand cloth to scrub it up. Do you see that? Please try and look safe. You must be safe with the chemical because the caustic soda is very corrosive. It can burn your skin when you're not careful with it. So I'm done with the laundry soap. So you need to leave it for like five to six hours, as I said earlier, for it to be solidified. After that, after this five to six hours, then you take it to the cutting machine. That is the cutting machine over there. Okay, this is the cutting machine, and we have three blades. 
for the cutting machine. We have the first one into cut into base. This is the first one to cut it into base. Then we have the second one, which is to cut into two slices. And the last one is to cut into tablets. So after cutting into tablets, you take them off and place them where there is a uh, breeze to blow it, to let it dry. You can leave it for 24 hours or more than that for it to be more harder. That is all for the cutting machine. When it gets solidified, this is how it comes. When it comes like this, then you take it to the cutting machine to cut into various sizes. This is the various sizes, the third step, which I call the tablets. The last one. If you put it into the machine, you can see that it's very equal to the cutting machine here, as you can see. Then after that, you take it to where you can place it where there is hair and leave it for like 24 hours then after that you pack it you have a nylon to pack then after packing you have your sticker here you can name it bolo fair soap and others but here we have a fair soap so you just place it on it you remove the paper at the back then you place it at the back of where you sealed so you have this can see that it's very interesting. Soap making is profitable because we deal with water and others. So I believe you find it so interesting and so on. So we are moving on to the next production. Question time. All right, sir. Uh, what is the name of the instrument used in laundry soap to determine the concentration of the chemical. Hydrometer. Uh, which system of production is your soap making? What system, sir? What system? Okay. After the fermentation of your caustic soda, what supposed reading of your hydrometer? 1.275, sir. Okay. Tell us the foaming agents in laundry soap production. Earlier I said uh, soda ash and sodium sulfate are the foaming agents in laundry soap. Okay. Uh, uh, which of the chemicals serve as the hardening uh, substance in the laundry soap? It's the sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next one here, I'm still missing is Musa Lovitz. The next one here is the germicide. The first chemical we need to make use of is a texacone. Texacone is the foaming agent. Yeah, what I mean by germicide, germicide is a trademark. Why Isa is known is a public name known for everybody. So here we have the first uh, material, which is the uh, chemical. We have texacone. We measure half, I mean quarter of texacone. You turn it into the mixing bucket. And here I told you the tools we need is mixing bucket and the uh, now, we measure 1 over 8, 1 over 8 of the pine oil. The pine oil, the function of pine oil is to kill germs in the floor. You can use it to wash your toilet. You make use, they make use of it at home, in the hospital. Uh, in hotels, 
in schools. So this is your final. We are measuring one over eight to the text that one. After measuring, you keep it aside. Notes, follow the steps. Number one is the text that one. And number two is the pine oil. You add the pine oil to the text that one to dissolve the to dissolve the text that one. After dissolving of the text that one, please allow the text that one and the pine oil to be mixed and to be dissolved. The pine oil will neutralize the text that one. You can see it has neutralized it. Then after, after that, you add in your phenol. Your phenol is a half liter, sorry, quarter liter. Sorry, please. Then the next step, which is the third chemical, it's called phenol. We have a quarter liter to have. Please, the pine oil is very corrosive. You need to be very careful about it. This is a quarter liter of a phenol. It kills germs too. When you add it, please, you stir. You can see the reactions. Turn out to be a little brown. Hmm? To neutralize the whole, the two chemicals, as you can see. Then the next one, which is the fourth chemical, is the thickener. The thickener we have a quarter, I mean half, half liter. The function of our, I mean, our thickener is to give it color, to become whitish. Now you add your water to dissolve it. You add in your water because it's a thickening agent to dissolve it. The dissolver is still. They stir it very well. After stirring to dissolve the chemical, then you add it to your three chemicals that have been added together. You stir. You can see that it's whitish in color. After that, you add in your carbolic acid, quarter liter two, quarter. 
You know I told you is carbolic acid. It's an acid. It can kill any germs on the floor, toilet. Please, this is your quarter liter of your carbolic acid. When you're turning it, when you're turning it in, you need to stay together. Can you see? You know I told you that it's called thick agent or whitish. It's becoming thicker. You stay very well, please. Don't forget, you are producing a germicide, which is the ISA, known as ISA. The trademark is called a germicide. So the next one is ISA concentrates. Here we have a one liter. Sorry, half liter, we are producing just five liters of water. So you add in your half liter. Exactly. You can use your cup and you can use something like this to use as your half liter. And after that, measuring the half liter, then you turn it into the proportion. You stay again. Can you see that? How I wish you were here with me to come and hear the aroma, the smell of the production. You can turn it clockwise and anti-clockwise because it's not cake. You mix it very well. Then after that, you take in your Lysol. Lys this is Lysol. You measure quarter liter of Lysol. This is your quarter liter. It gives germs too. Because all these chemicals are to kill germs, except Texapro, which is the foaming agent. You add in your Lysol and stir. Please make sure you, you are very careful with your chemical because all the chemicals are very corrosive but when you are very careful with it, it won't harm. Earlier I told you that pine oil is a very corrosive uh, chemical. It's just that when you are measuring or when you are adding to the proportion of the uh, solution, you need to prevent yourself like wearing goggles and glove, nose cover. But just because of the little one I'm preparing here, I don't need anything like that. But I just need to be very careful about it. You can see that I'm adding the Lysol gently. Please follow the step. The step is. Now the last one is Isaac booster. It boosts every of the chemicals that you you have been using earlier together. You are going to use quarter liter too. This is your quarter liter. Hmm. This is it. You add it to. Please follow the procedure of the chemical. Hmm. 
to the last but not the least. The last one, because you can't leave it like this, is of no use. You need to add in more water, like 5 liters of water. For your production to be completed. Then this is my 5 liters of water I'm measuring. Yeah, that is the five liters. For me, just keep away everything. Every of the materials that you've been used, keep it off. If you're the only one, you can produce your genesis, which is the Isa. If you're producing more than what I'm producing here, that means you have to add in more and more chemicals, like times this. So this is my last. You add in. Can you see that? Then you stir. You know, I've said it earlier that I wish you were here to taste it, not your mouth, please. To the floor, to the toilet, the zinc, the corners of your house, the three cockroach, the germs on the floor that you're not expected. So you mix it, you mix it very well for the chemicals to, to react together. For now, the genocide is ready to use. So, after that, you look for a brownish container like this, or any container that you feel like using, you brand it. Then you put them, after putting them into the containers, it's ready for your customers to use. Thank you, guys. Question time. Yes, sir. Uh, which of the chemical is harmful to the skin in the production of germicide? Actually, the first, the first chemical I said is tenzacone. Then the next one I said is a pine oil. Pine oil is very harmful. If you can remember, I told you that pine oil is very harmful, that you should be very, very careful about it. Very pervasive. What is the function of tenzacone? In the, germicide production. Uh, the function of texacone in germicide production is for it to foam. While washing your floors and others, it will be getting foaming. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Good afternoon, class. My name is Mrs. Omisha Kedukwe. I want to teach you how to produce liquid soap. In the production of liquid soap, we need water, which is the base of the liquid soap. We need nitrosol, we need formalin, we need color. This is rice. So, so, We have Lorel rice. This is our caustic soda. This is soda ash. This is sulfonic acid. This is tesapon. This is SPP. And this is foaming booster. This is perfume. So that is our chemical we need to produce liquid soap. Now, I want to produce my liquid soap and during the production of the liquid soap, I will be telling you the function of each chemical. Now we need 4 liters of water because we want to produce 5 liters of liquid soap. We need 4 liters of water. I have already put 4 liters of water into my mixing bucket. So now I want to 
had formalin. This is the stirrer. We call it turning stick. We want to use it to stir the liquid soap. Now I want to add my formalin. Formalin is for preservatives. Now I want to use just a drip of formalin. In case you want to use formalin, you should be careful before you use the formalin. You must use your nursery cover before you use formalin. You know I did not use, use it liquid. now. It's because the one I want to use is a very little one. So just a drop to your production pocket. Just a drop. It's preservative. It has choking smell. So that is formalin. Now I want to use nitrosol. This is nitrosol. One over 16 kg. This is one over 16 kg. Nitrosol is a thickener of liquid soap. Nitrosol is a thickener. It will help the production to be fairly thick. So I want to mix my nitrosol into the four liter of water that I mentioned before. So I want to add it gently so that it will not destroy the production. I'm adding it little by little because it is too soft. Five liter. 
Now I want to use one tablespoon. You can see it's one tablespoon. You should be careful when you want to use caustic soda because it is very harmful and it's very toxic. You should not allow it to touch your mouth. Even your skin also. It can burn the skin very well. This is one over eight liter of soda ash. One over eight liter. This chemical also is very harmful and it is toxic. So now I pour soda ash into my production. And we have to turn it well. Is the clean agent now followed by sulfonic acid? This is sulfonic acid. I want to measure quarter liter out of it inside one separate bucket. Quarter liter. This is quarter liter of sulfonic acid. Then we have to measure one of our 16 kg of tesaco inside the sulfonic acid. One of our H kg followed by SPP just only two tablespoons only two tablespoons one liter of water we are going to pour it inside tesla corn sulfonic acid and spp we are going to mix that one together before we pour it into our production Chemical is foaming agent. 
Tesafan sulfonic acid and SPP is forming agent. Then we pour it inside our production. into our production. Remember I mix three chemicals together, sulfonic acid, tesapon, and SPP. Then we are going to mix it together very well. See, when I pour the three chemicals and mix together into our production, the production is very foamy. You can see it. Now, followed by foaming booster. Foam booster. Foam booster. I want to use one over 16 liter. One over 16 liter. This chemical will help us to boost all the chemical we mix together. And it also boosts the function of the chemicals we mix together. We have lemon, we have vanilla, we have banana, we have strawberry, we have lavender A, and we have lessons. So the one I'm, I want to use now is banana. This is banana that I want to use now. This uh, perfume is optional. Now I want to use half of teaspoon, half of teaspoon. This is half of teaspoon. You mix the perfume you pour into product into production very well. ready. This is our liquid soap. It's ready. You can see it. You can keep it aside so that all the foam will come down. 
before we pour it inside your plastic or your little bottle you are using for your production and label it, it's ready to sell. Remember I told you earlier that we want to produce just only 5 liters of liquid soap. If you want to produce more than this, we multiply it. You can multiply it up to 10 liters, 15 liters, 50 liters, 100 liters, and more than that. You just follow the procedure we take to produce this one. This is our liquid soap. Okay, question time. Yes, sir. Madam. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the name of the thickening, thickening agent in liquid soap production? The name of the thickening uh, agent in the uh, production of liquid soap is nitrous soap. Nitrous soap, okay. Uh, in the liquid soap production, uh, which of the solvents binds the chemicals together? Water is a solvent agent. Okay. Uh, what other name is uh, sodium hydroxide called? You can call it lime. Is it advisable to use rainwater for your liquid soap production? No, sir. Thank you, madam. Yes, sir. Remember to keep all your working places tidy before you leave the place. Okay. And keep all the chemical and label it so that you will not make mistake when you are producing your liquid soap. Thank you.